that's also another a pretty cool record. But a few changes that we've spoken about. Jakai Whitfell, Alana spoke about her. I'm very excited to see what she can do on the wing there. And uh, obviously, Kezi Apps moving to start in front row. And Jess Elliston coming off the bench. And Emma Manzelman due to make her debut as well. She had a, a wonderful season for the Cowboys in Townsville. And it's good to see her being you know, honoured in that way. She had PMs 13 and then, and then this incredible call-up. And I feel like every team has improved when Yasmin Clydesdale is in the lineup. She comes onto an edge today after being suspended for the first encounter between these teams. New Zealand have a new look, don't they, with Nevada George going into the starting lineup in the front row. And Abigail Roach didn't play a fortnight ago. Yeah, they look really strong. You spoke about Nevada George starting. She's got a great little offload and she'll be there to absorb some of that pressure from the Gillaroos props, particularly Shana Mato in the middle. But the thing that would worry me being the Gillaroos is Maya Hill Moana coming off the bench. She is an absolute beast. Uh, she'll be there when Jess Elliston probably comes onto the field to sort of counteract that punch. But I'm fascinated to see how that battle plays out. Also pretty keen to see how Anessa Biddle goes at second row today. We've seen her play wing, we've seen her play centre, haven't seen her play second row, so she'll have a work cut out for her. And as a player, do you prefer to have played last week like New Zealand did when they beat Tonga or Australia having a week off to get ready for this after a gruelling NRLW season as well? Personally, I would have loved to have played last week. Absolutely. Gives you more time to get your combinations together. Gives you more time to iron out a few of those things. And, you know, Abigail Roach was fantastic last week and she gets a call up this week. your venue Melbourne playing host to International Women's Rugby League for the first time and it's a beautiful afternoon Good as kick. well and how's this for a start for the Gillaroos McGregor from outside the 40 this time and Whitfield was back in position to receive and she's dangerous in this situation well, this is her strength. Alana spoke about her work coming out of backfield. She's got the ability to break at least the first tackle, and she's got the strength to pull through the next couple. So she definitely helps the Gillaroos get their sets off to good starts. Look at where they are. Tackle two. Speaking of one-two punch, isn't that nice? Whitfeld into Jess Smurgis. It'll be handy. Also is this. Alpha. They want to keep going that way. New Zealand trying to number up, but Aiken spotted something and floats it over the top for Chapman against Nichols. So powerful. What a finish from Jamie Chapman, one of the stars of the NRLW Grand Final at the start of the month. Great vision from Taryn Aiken on that short side, but they had all the momentum, the Gillaroos. A couple of really good hit-ups from their outside backs in Whitfeld and then Jess Surges, Samima Taufa demanded the football and then just identifying that the winger had come in and to get the footy to that woman there, Jamie Chapman, so powerful, so strong. Options in front of them. She, she chose the right one. It led to a try, but Tamika on the inside pass, that's on two. Brown's conversion is over. And we'll play it again. So quick with her play the balls. Now Koenig looking to set up Upton. Still Olivia Koenig. Where's the support? There it is. Upton is over. And has she scored? I think she might have done. What a remarkable try from the Gillaroos. Koenig and Upton combining. Well, when you see this one back on replay, you'll see she didn't think she was going to get this football. It came to her and all she did was just spot up. Excuse me. And she's like thinking Ali Brigginshaw swinging to the open side. She gets the football. There's slightly, a little bit slow on that defensive line there for the Kiwi Ferns, but it's just push support that makes this play come to life. Loz Brown jumps out, but look at Koenig. Just keeping the ball in two hands. You can see it takes the attention from Brooke Anderson. The defense isn't able to get there. She keeps those long levers free and the freaky Miki is just screaming up through the inside. 
They really Did she had, lose it? Yeah, she might have. They really had no right to score that. They didn't have numbers out there on that edge. They probably shouldn't have gone to the short side. It was just that support play. If it did pay off, although we might get another look. I don't think it's being confirmed just yet. But they had no right. Koenig having the footy in two hands and just going through, it's probably just the difference between that extra bit of effort. They didn't have line speed that whole set, New Zealand. Here we go, we might hear it. Yeah, we're going to have another look yeah. at this one. That's probably fair. Tries under review, just looking at maintaining possession. In real time, I thought it would be amazing for Upton to finish this off with Nichols straight all over it. Yeah, it's the work of Arpy Nichols over the top. We've cleared all, play, it. all aspects of play up until this point. There, she loses that. Just yeah. looking at possession from Tamika Upton. That's a no try. Tamika Upton loses possession while the New Zealand player has maintained contact with the ball, which is a knock-on decision made. Well, that's another huge play from Arpi Nichols. The first one when she caught the ball in goal, and it was a tricky catch, and then a huge defensive play on Tamika Upton. Yeah, it'll be a no try. But that's a real shot across the bow, though, because, like you said, Alana, that, they had no right to get over the try line there. It just moved away from Tamika Upton because... Oh, what a strip! Oh. Tiana Davison! What a contribution off the bench from the 22-year-old. Another championship winner with the Newcastle Knights. She had a cracking season for them, too. Nichols. Australia have to be on guard here. New Zealand looking to hit back right before half-time. Back to centre field with Fonga Vinny. Will they be able to settle up for Hufunga on one of these next two plays? They've got a deep line to the right, which they don't use. And Very flat on the left here, though. And she's out of play here. And the number seven has to play the ball on the last, so they go to that left-hand side. Nathan Wong trying to set it up for Hufunga. Oh, there it is! Oh, Mele Hufunga! Unstoppable as the Jillaroos switch off and pay the price. Well, Tiana Davison, take a bow. She came on with an incredible, incredible steal. One-on-one -on -one here. That was perfect. Textbook. But then this is the pet play for the Kiwis. And this is what we've spoken about. You clock off on the inside there. You see they don't tie in. And the space is created. Mela Hufanga is so strong. You can't give her that half sniff. She makes you pay. Ray McGregor, she's looking to add the extras. And locks it up. Beautifully executed a conversion from Racing McGregor, who's had a tremendous first 35 minutes. A game on in Melbourne. All locked up at the break at six apiece. In that first 35. But we're all locked up at the start of the second half and trapped cleverly by Brigginshaw. Now Hale trying to eye up the defence. Trying to create something here for Hufunga. Oh, Arpi. Arpi Nichols is through. Australia already complaining about an obstruction. But for now, the Kiwis are in front. Well, you can take this one all, all the way back to the other end of the field. Leanne Tafunga came up with that pour out, came up with a beautiful intercept, getting up in the face of Tamika Upton. But Arpi Nichols has been threatening all afternoon. This play through the middle is set up by Georgia Hale. She is so direct. So direct, she squares up nicely and that holds up the defence. They can't shift off. Billy, that must have looked nice down on ground level. Yeah, it certainly did. Uh, Arpy Nichols, she held the ball in two hands, which created the one-on-one -on -one with Ali Brigginshaw. And, and then she was just too strong through the hips, powered through that tackle. And they've gone 90 metres, the Kiwi Ferns. And it was a big decision not to take the two points from the Chillaroos. I think they'll be regretting that moment. They'll be regretting it, all right. They could have taken the two points to put them ahead on the scoreboard, but Georgia Hale does a great job to straighten up. I like how the Kiwis play when they're attacking their line. They start a little bit tighter, closer to the play the ball, and then their last thought is that late movement onto the outside of their defender. RP Nichols, as Billy said, the footy in two hands, just forcing them to sit back on their heels. They were worried about Mele Hufunga, but they might be having a look at this. Yeah, Australia were adamant this try should not stand. You saw Tamika Upton waving her finger. I think it's the lead runner on Brigginshaw affecting her ability 
to defend and ultimately she's the one beaten. It is. It's it's the lead runner for Ray McGregor here. I think it's uh, oh, Nevada George. Nevada George. Nevada George. This point. She catches it on the inside shoulder. Sorry, it's Tyler Nathan Wong. Catches it on the inside shoulder of Nevada George and then she takes it to the outside. And it the New Zealand play the catches the ball on the inside shoulder of the lead runner and causes a disadvantage to the defensive line. We have a decision. So we remain at six apiece here. Yeah, it might be disallowed, but doesn't, don't they make that look easy, though? Find their groove in attack. Brigginshaw, Sergis, Pops it out the back for Manzelman. Off the mark. Look at the footwork creating here. The two debutantes combine. And Whitfield trying to force it down. New Zealand, how is that for desperation? Sums up their Wait, defensive effort. It's RP again. We're on tackle four. Have no try. Just confirm the ball is held up, please. Well, this is where Emma Manzelman is the most dangerous. Sniffing around broken ruck play, she's got the leg speed to take advantage Looking of it. Looking to see if there is a grounding from the Australian player. I think she's player. held up here, Jakai. She's denied on debut. Harpy oh, Nichols. She's been so good for the Kiwis out the back. Nathan Wong gets involved as well. Yep, the ball's up. Wow, that's an effort. That is a huge play. That is a huge play in this game. Usually we speak about big attacking plays. The arm plays. is always under the ball. Just checking for all available angles. I'm not sure that we're going to see anything different. <laughs> Liam Kennedy slowing it down. Whitfield would have celebrated big time if she thought she'd scored a try. She's ready to play it. Yeah. Ten metres out here. And this just takes the, the wind out of the sails of the Jillaroos a little Based bit. Based on all available angles, the ball remains up. Decision made. There you go. No try. And this allows the Kiwis just to get their defensive line reset. Take a few deep breaths. Look how deep Australia are ready to go to work here at Amy Park. Time but she'd be the one to do it from the Kiwi fans. Don't want to give away a penalty right now, Australia. Hale didn't go outside. They created a massive overlap. McGregor now from dummy half. Can they hold her up? Australia can. Well, Tiana Davison just missed the jump there. I think she was a bit closer. She might have been over. Hale, bouncing ball behind Quinlan. No panic from New Zealand. They keep it central from Anderson. Jolting tackle from Martor. Late in the count now. McGregor right in front of the uprights. They go left though for Nathan Wong. Here comes the fullback. Nichols, pass on the outside oh! to Fulga! New Zealand, is this their time? Against the Gillaroos, what a game she has had. Land to Fulga for the Kiwi Ferns. Wow, what about the footwork from Tafunga to just stand up to Kyle Whitfeld and take her on the outside? Ray McGregor. How's the kick? Oh, oh, she oh, got oh, oh, she got it! Oh, that's the crossbar! <laughs> wow! Oh, Brigginshaw kicks from inside her own 20. And fittingly, Arpy Nichols has the ball in her hands. And New Zealand, for the first time since 2016, have knocked off the Jillaroos. What a moment for New Zealand Rugby League and the Kiwi Ferns.